Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the smartest beast of all? Through groundbreaking scientific research, the real story emerges of an animal with more than just gut instinct. A clever athlete. A super sleuth. Do you want to play the piano? A the born piano. performer. Oh, no, 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 we have to have two hands. Good boy. They seem to be on the ball, but what really goes on in the mind of man's best friend? From the edge of canine science, we discover the true genius of the dog. We live with 400 million of them. Noisy, inquisitive busybodies with busy minds. We share our homes with them. And just about everything else. For centuries, we've been fascinated with them. Trying to figure out what makes them tick. Striving to get into the mind of the dog. But we're not the only ones doing the research. They watch us. They listen, picking up on our every move. Gathering intelligence for the doggy database. Why? Because their lives depend on it, and have for millennia. The wolf is the mother of all dogs. Some 14,000 years ago, a group of wolves took a new evolutionary path. No one knows exactly why, but most agree the split occurred because of us. As human hunter-gatherers settled down, they created rubbish. Some say the wolves that couldn't pass up a free lunch began hanging around. For a select few, scavenging replaced hunting. And the wolf and attributes they used for taking down prey faded away. These were the first dogs, eventually evolving into smaller animals with smaller teeth and smaller brains. But other traits loomed larger. They became more approachable than wolves and were willing to work. Ultimately, dogs and humans struck a food for hire deal. If the dogs work hard, the people would throw them a bone. And the ones who paid attention and obeyed were rewarded plentifully, surviving to pass down their clever genes, creating a species uniquely focused on us. This coevolution between human and dog plays out today, an ancient bond thriving in modern suburbs. Mabel, come here. Meet Mabel. A six-year-old beagle mix. Like most dogs, she's a surveillance genius, adept at deciphering hidden codes. And meet the Presleys, Nelson, Ellen and Daniel, and Sue, Mabel's research subjects. Sue works in an office. Nelson works at home. One day, Nelson noticed Mabel's behaviour changing just before Sue was to come home from work. I noticed that Mabel was sort of on stakeout for Sue and that she would be at the door, clearly looking, clearly waiting, and this is before Sue would be anywhere on my radar. Mabel's not alone. Dogs repeatedly seem to know in advance when their owners will return home. But can science reveal what really triggers canine clairvoyance? To find out, we conduct an experiment. First, we rig up cameras to capture Mabel's movements. We do the same for Sue. At 5.12pm, Sue shuts down her computer, exits the office. Mabel lies on the couch. Mabel is still on the couch. 
At five minutes past six, Sue's bus nears the stop. Suddenly, Mabel perks up, jumps off the couch and takes up a position by the door. Everyone in the family is unaware of Sue's imminent arrival, except for Mabel. Sue approaches. As always, it's a tail wagging reunion. So, how did Mabel do it? Scientists say dogs are one of the world's best associative learners, taking cues from their environment and connecting them to our patterns. Consider this, dogs' long-distance hearing is about four times more powerful than humans. When the bus goes by, our ears barely register all the sound waves. For Mabel, the signal is loud and clear. But it's Mabel's brain associating these sounds with Sue's arrival that's so extraordinary. Scientists have shown dogs memorise the sound of the make and models of their owners' vehicles. And learn the unique cadence of their footsteps. But Mabel wouldn't be able to detect any of these events without one other crucial ingredient. Interest. At the core of dog genius is a hardwired motivation to know us. A far cry from their wolf ancestors who kept their wary distance. How did we get from that to this? And in what ways did domestication shape their intelligence? The answer comes from one of the most remote regions on Earth. In 1959, at a research facility in Siberia, Russian geneticists began an experiment in domestication, breeding foxes to become tame. They mated the least aggressive ones over a few generations, creating more friendly offspring. But the experiment produced other remarkable results. After a few more generations of breeding, the foxes began to change in appearance. They started to look like dogs, ears flopping down, tails curling up, and their coats became multicoloured, useless to the fur industry, but intriguing to scientists. But these physical changes were the least of it. The foxes began approaching people without fear, even seeking out affection, the last thing you'd expect from a wild fox. Eventually, they even learned to follow commands. In the blink of an evolutionary eye, a fundamental shift in thinking transformed these creatures. The Russian geneticists were breeding for friendliness, but something else changed. Intelligence. A new kind. The fox dogs had the ability to learn from us. These astonishing results sparked new research, leading to studies on the powers of the dog-human bond. Now in Leipzig in Germany, a groundbreaking study has changed the way scientists understand canine cunning. The Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology investigates primate intelligence. Chimps are known for their problem-solving smarts. Here, a chimp excels at a shell game. He follows the treat. But then, researchers change the game so the chimp would have to rely on information from a human. Pointing. The chimp was fooled. This surprised the Institute's co-director, Michael Tomasello. They weren't picking up on the pointing. And we thought this was a little curious. It seemed quite easy to just see where somebody was pointing and go there and find the food. Then, one of his colleagues working in the chimp lab said his dog could easily follow the pointing. I said, 
no way. And um, he went home and tested his dogs, and sure enough, they followed the point to hidden food very easily. And uh, we wanted to know why were dogs better at this than apes. The researchers came up with new tests comparing man's closest relative with man's best friend. Dr. Julian Kaminsky started experimenting to find out which human gestures dogs could understand. Two cups, both smelling like treats. Hide a treat in one. Place them in opposite directions. Now, point. Does Ambula get the hint? The study shows dogs will read our body language correctly 90% of the time. Even six-month-old puppies catch on pretty quickly, which suggests understanding our cues is a skill that dogs are born with. Why can't our closest relative process information from us as well as dogs? And when we started thinking about it, the obvious answer is that dogs were genetically selected, were domesticated by humans for interacting with us in particular ways, relating to us emotionally in interesting ways, but also communicating with us. Chimps did not evolve to be dependent on us. They had no reason to develop the part of their brain that comprehends our gestures. Unlike Ambula. And it's not 